guys welcome back to the show in the last video we built a to do application that lets us add to do like I would like to eat but as you can see it is a bit blunt in this video we will learn how to animate this using react spring and make it look much better to do this we will have to install the dependencies that we need for animation so I'll go ahead and install react spring and node sas npm install start save dev node sas now that that is completed i will also go ahead and install react spring so i'll say yarn add react spring okay so right now we have everything ready to get started all right so i'll come over here and inside of the app.ts file i'll get rid of this because i don't really need it so everything moves that way that is exactly what we want um, to get started um, the way that I like to structure react applications if you haven't watched my video on structuring react applications is that I want to have my CSS files inside of each component directory so inside of the form component directory I'll create a file called form.model.scss which will be the file in which I'll write my CSS so I'll come over here and I'll create form dot model dot scss like so inside of the application I'll do the same thing for card so I'll say card dot model dot scss now the first component that I would like to style is the form so I'll come over here so inside of, of React Spring, we have like different hooks and APIs that we can use. We have use Spring, which is used to move one item from one direction to another, from one position to another. We have use Springs, which is used to move lots of components or lots of items from one direction to another. And then use Trail, which I'm not going to talk about. And we have use Transition, which is used to transition items from one state to another state. What we're going to do is that we're going to use use spring to transition this input field right from one state to another. So basically the input field is going to come from outside where you see it is going to come outside of the view and then do something like a whoop into the view. So it's going to come outside and come into the view. How we're going to do this is to import use spring and animate it from react spring so the use spring is the api that will let us move a component from one direction or one from one position to another animated is what react uses to do the animation in our view component so use spring is the api that we use to move the component or to move an item from one position to another animated is what helps react animate you know understand what the spring system is it makes react to understand the animation that we want because react doesn't know what api we're using react doesn't know what react spring is animated is an interface that helps react and react spring work together to animate our components so i think i have i'm in the wrong component i'll go to the form component and then import use spring and animate it the next thing I would like to do is to use the use spring um, create a variable I'm gonna call it const animation or I'll call it form animation this form animation we use reuse spring like so use spring as you can see from the documentation has a from and a to. The to is implicit, you can decide not to write that. The from, as the word suggests, tells where or from what position you want the animation to start. What I would like to do is to make the animation transform. So I'll say from takes in a JavaScript object, I'll give it transform and I'll let it translate. In the x direction minus one percent 
and what I would like it, it to do is to move to so transform translate 30% okay so what I have here right is that this input field here right here what I would like it to do is to transform from minus one position so it will come outside so basically this will be somewhere here and it will move 30 percent in the x direction in here so that is something that we're going to do is transforming from minus one percent to um, 30 percent now what we need to do is to pass this to the component that we want right i would like to pass this to the form component and like i said earlier how react interacts with react spring is through the animated api so i will say animated dot form animated dot form like so and then i need to pass the animation the props the style that i would like the animation to have and this is the style that i would like the animation to have so i will say style form animation like so as you can see when I start and I refresh the application, it moves from minus 1% in the X direction to 30% in the X direction. And this looks cool. Okay. I could make this 50% like so. And that's awesome. Let's make it 45 so that it will center. Okay. So that's simple. That's all you need to do to animate from one position to the other using React Spring. But now, if we type in something like hello, we have this over here and that over here. That's not what we want. We would like to also move this in a similar position and make this a bit cooler. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to use another API provided by React Spring called use transition which is used to transform elements from one state to the other to do this we have to go to the card component this is because the card component has the list of to do's so we can get access to the list of to do's here and then make our animation what i'm going to do now is to import use transition like so and animate it from react spring like so now that i have this i'll do something similar to what i did in the form component i'll create a constant called to do transition which will use the use transition api now the use transition takes us first parameter the list of items that you would like to transition so the list all right so list of to do's that is the list of to do's the array of to do's is the first thing that it takes the second parameter that it takes is the a function that returns keys or you can leave it as null now when we were making the to do application what we could have done is to store the key of each to do but we didn't do that initially so I'll go ahead and leave this as null for simplicity. The next parameter that it takes are the list of styles that we like to apply to each individual to do element when it is rendered in the DOM. What I'll pass to it now is that I want it to go from opacity of zero, margin left of 100, so it'll be away from the screen, then I would like you to enter so you will go from that and enter like so so basically what we've done out here or what we've done let's go to the react spring api the use transition it takes as the first argument the list or an array of anything that you want to, to transition from one state to the other that is the first argument that it takes the second argument that it takes is a key a function all right that returns a key we do not have a key for simplicity so i left it as no the next parameter that it takes is a from 
okay which is the state that you want each element to transition from and then enter is the state that you want each element to transition to and then you could have a last one which is called leave but I'm not doing that for now for simplicity what I want you to get from this is to understand how to use use transition and how to use use spring when working with react spring the question is how do I apply this each of these styles to the to do element how, how do I even apply this to that how do I apply the styles to each of the cards well to do this I will comment this out and say return I'll wrap everything inside of a div or a react fragment okay like so and then the transition returns an array of elements so I can say that to do transition dot map I would like to map the to do transition and when I map it what I like to do is extract okay I would like to extract the items which is each to do element each of the to do is what I call items the key would have been the ID which is currently null and then props which is the style each of these styles okay it's called props and I'll return and what I like to return is animated Dot li to keep it simple well I'll pass it I'll pass it items then I'll pass it the props okay so I'll say style will be props like so so this should be item not items like so a key and props like so so what I have right now is if I type in if I type in I need to eat so voila I need to sink I need to dance I need to watch tv so we've animated each of the to do item in the array but as you can see we've got we still have like these dots you know so i'll just make it a little bit pretty but that's not the main focus of this tutorial the main focus of this tutorial was to learn how to use react spring to do basic animation in react so that's how you animate stuff so I'll go ahead and inside of the CSS file that I created earlier on so card the model .css, what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of style to make it look you know just a little bit pretty so I'll do dot now I need to import to use styles with react models if you watch my video of how to structure react component I go through this but I'll say import style is dot slash cut the model the SCSS so now if I say I need to sync yes like so what I can do is to move this a bit to the left and make them all sync and even if I wanted what I could do is even animate the color and make the color come in in a very nice way but that is the out of the scope of this tutorial the main scope of this tutorial was to learn the basics of react spring and to learn how to use react spring to animate react components I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching
if you want me to do some more advanced tutorial on react frank let me know and i can do that later on in the future thank you very much for watching